welcome to the RL Show. I'm stoked you're here. Today we're going to be talking about hair dye. Finally, I know it's taken me forever to get to this topic. I've been meaning to for a long time. So here we go. If you're wanting to dye your hair in a natural color, there's a couple steps to it. First thing is you have to bleach it. I'm not talking like Clorox laundry bleach. You're going to pick up bleach from anywhere, like Walmart will have it. It comes in two parts, a powder and a liquid. You can usually get it together in a box. And this is different from blonde hair dye. So don't pick up a box of blonde hair dye. That won't help you. Okay. So you're going to put the bleach on your hair, mix the parts together. And when you do, it's going to sting like crazy. At least it does for me, because my scalp is all messed up from bleaching it too many times, and so it burns hardcore. I feel you, I'm so sorry. Girl, you could do it, it will be worth it, okay? So if any bleach gets anywhere else, like on your face and your arms, wipe it off right away, because like I said, it will burn, and it can actually bleach out your skin and make it a lighter color, and have like weird spots on your skin. So basically, you need to leave the bleach in until your hair is pretty freaking white. If you stop when it gets, it goes through stages, so if it like stops at your orange stage or whatever, um, and then you try to put like, let's say blue over it, it will be like a blue mixed with an orange and it will look brown and crappy. Right here where you are bleaching is like where you're gonna determine how bright your color is gonna be. The lighter you get, let the bleach get your hair, the brighter your color is going to be. And if your hair is dyed black, you're kind of screwed. You really can't do much with dyed black hair. Natural black maybe, but if it's dyed, bleach can't even fight that. The, the lightest it's gonna get, even after like an hour and a half, is gonna be this weird orange color. And then you're gonna have crazy damaged hair and a weird orange color. So just, just don't even try to let it be black. Okay, so I leave mine in at least, at least probably 40 minutes to an hour, as long as I can handle the burn and as light as I can get. Then I wash it out in about a kind of like lukewarm water, if anything else like stings, and don't use shampoo or conditioner, just wash it out until you can't feel, it feels like grainy on your fingers when you're washing it out, so make, make all the grain go away, and you can see if you left some of that in, there's like these little white dots all over your hair, anyway, then um, towel dry it, don't use a blow dryer on your poor hair that's going to feel like straw, like don't try to brush it, just, just ignore it, because it, it like stresses me out to touch it at that state, because it is so damaged feeling, but that will, it'll, it'll get better, I promise. So then you're going to take your dye, which usually is not a mix, it's just one color. Um, put your gloves on, that's important for me, oh my gosh, I tried without it, thinking it oh, lasts for days, it gets all over. But you like the color, right? So if you have blue or pink hands, it's not a big deal. Okay, so then I put Vaseline all over my hairline, just like this, all over my hands, my arms, my ears, back of my neck, everywhere. I'm so careful. I'm like doing my cheeks, them up to my nose, and I still manage to get like pink everywhere, all over my skin, all over my bathroom, which is part of the deal with me, but not a big deal. Okay, again, ignore whatever the box tells you however long to leave it on. Leave it on until you think it's good and ready. Personally, I've slept in my pink hair dye. I don't think the actual dye damages it that, that badly. So there's been a few times I've just, it's just gotten too late and I've been lazy. I don't want to wash it out. Um, I would do at least an hour. If you can go five hours, why not? Like I said, at least I use splat and I don't think that the actual dye part is that damaging once it's in there. Okay. So now you've got your hair looking pretty and yeah, um, wash it out. And then this is the time that you can condition it. And so I wouldn't shampoo it, but condition it at that point. Um, and use like a, I think you're supposed to, they say don't use um, hot water. And I would recommend not, don't use hot water, but I honestly don't notice that big of a difference. Every time I wash my hair, the water is pink, okay? And this is another thing. Do not rinse until the water runs clear. This is huge. It makes me mad when boxes say rinse. If you rinsed until your shower water ran clear, you would be rinsing for five hours and all the dye would be gone out of your hair. Seriously, I've, I dyed this like five weeks ago and it's still pink with the shower water every single time I wash my hair. That's just part of the gig. You can't really go swimming in pools. If it rains, you're kind of screwed because it's going to get all your clothes, whatever color you dye your hair, deal with it. Not that big of a sacrifice. So I'm trying to think um, some ways to keep the color in longer. What you can do is you can take, save some of the dye, save like maybe a little bit of this at the bottom, and mix your conditioner in with it. That way every time you're conditioning, you're adding, you're refreshing it. But honestly, like I never have a problem with the fade. I, like I said, I'm using Splat, used it for years, and the, this pink has stayed for five weeks, totally cool. The only reason I dye my hair nowadays is because I'm refreshing my roots, because my roots grow. And now I don't have to, I never re-bleach my hair, I only bleach the roots, and so I take, this is, this is such a pain, I take my hair and I section it off in like a hundred little ponytails, that way I cannot touch the ends but just bleach out the roots. I bleach out the roots but I, re I redo the whole pink every single time because that way it gets the roots, and like I said, it doesn't damage the ends, so it's not a big deal. Um, let me see what other tricks, it's just like, it's part of my lifestyle now, so I don't even know what I do to keep it, I just, it, I somehow do, I feel like, I feel like it just, it just stays this color now. Um, stay away from chlorine, you know, you're smart, you'll figure it out, there's blogs about this, you'll get it. I'm just here to show you the basics of dyeing your hair, and if you're committed to it, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is a lifestyle choice, it's kind of a pain sometimes, but totally worth it. You'll wake up with whatever color hair you want, like a pixie fairy. Amazing.
All right, those are my tips for you today, and I'll think of more color maintenance ones. I really felt like I had more, and I feel like they're not coming to me, but that's okay. Okay, I love you. Subscribe to my podcast. I'll see you next week. Bye.